if you are my family, um, please like literally stop watching this video at this point. Um, you're going to ruin your Christmas. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased Hi everybody and welcome back to episode two of Vlogmas here in Japan. In the last video we talked about how Japan celebrates Christmas. They don't really celebrate on Christmas Day. It's more so of a Christmas Eve type of thing. And I took you pottery shopping and to my pottery class. And then today's video is going to be packed with a little bit more. We are going to a thrift store. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like inside. I'm specifically looking for ceramics. I'm going to show you what I'm packing to send home to my my family so souvenirs and Christmas gifts we're going to wrap my presents we're going to cook and we're going to Japanese lessons I take Japanese lessons and I don't know uh, you guys seem to find it interesting so I'm gonna just show you some highlights from class make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything going on here in Japan during the holidays give this video a thumbs up leave a comment spread some holiday joy and of course another way you can support my channel is by sharing Share this video with your friends and family. Grab a cup of hot chocolate, grab a hot tea, grab a coffee, and just escape to Japan with me. Happy holidays, and let's get into the video. I wanted to show you how cute the vending machine outside of it is. There's Pokemon all over it. And they just sell like normal stuff. Um, so these are all hot items. It's like coffees and teas. This is a bean soup. And this one is a corn soup. If I hadn't have had lunch already, I would have gotten one to try one with you. I've never gone thrifting in a really big city. It's something that I want to do, but because of COVID, we've been avoiding larger cities. But this is what a thrift store in my town, the Japanese countryside, might look like. And the first thing I hope that you notice is how clean and organized everything is. Japanese people take care of things that they own. Like this is an old dresser, but it looks brand new. Like there's no chips in it. There's no weird stains or scratches. And my experience shopping at a Japanese thrift store is so much better than experiences I have had shopping at stores back home in the United States. Clothes, bags, shoes, jewelry is all still in really, really great condition. When I'm shopping at thrift stores, I typically go for ceramics, pottery, and I'm looking for vintage items. All the pottery. So beautiful. This pottery is probably from Hagi. If you guys watch my vlog, shopping in Hagi, they had a lot of pottery like this, where the darker color comes from where it's in on the kiln. So it's really cool because you can tell where a lot of this pottery comes from. And yeah, apparently you can find Japanese swords. I don't know the actual history behind this one, but they had a few of them in their store for less than a hundred US dollars. This is pretty cool, but uh, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to buy one of those today. I spent about 18 US dollars at the thrift store. I got two like teacups and then a tea set for my sister-in-law. She drinks green tea all the time, so I got her a really pretty tea set she can use. Our next stop today is Yuma Town, which is where I go to get most of my groceries. I also like to come here for novelty snack and seasonal items. If you want a full tour of Yuma Town, which is a supermarket, I actually have a video on that just so you can see what the whole inside looks like. So don't forget to check that out when this video is over, but let's go inside and see what kind of holiday items we can find. These are grocery carts, which I think are so cute. They're really small and they swivel like this. This is one of my go-to gifts. It's hand soap and you put your palm on it and it 
Comes out looking like a little flower. So I'm gonna try to mail some of these. And of course, the butter soy sauce crisps. These are hands down my favorite snack. So I just noticed that they sell mini versions of cup noodles. Like these are tiny compared to like the other sizes. <laughs> so this is kind of a nice thing to send home to family and friends so they can try a few more different flavors. The Christmas Coke packaging is literally on another level. I love sending these novelty items back home. I think you can find them in other places in the world, but we definitely don't have these in the United States where I live. So these are going home and I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. And you're going to unravel the label like so. And there's a tiny little thing right here. How cool this is. It's a Christmas Coke. Isn't that amazing? It's like my favorite thing to show it, to show people. What in the world? Sparkling wine Kit Kats. I have never seen this before. Oh, and then these are good too. It's like a chocolate fudge, like cookie kind of thing. But I think this might be from Beppu because this is the onsen symbol. So I'm definitely gonna get these to try myself as well. This was the only section I saw in the grocery store that was really dedicated to Christmas items. And it looked like it was more geared towards children. And they were kind of their interpretation of a Christmas stocking. This was everything that I got. I spent about 60 US dollars on all of the snacks and treats that I'm going to be filling the boxes with. I think I needed another bag. <laughs> Whoops. Now I'm going to a store called Daiso. It's like the dollar store. Um, I'm hoping that they have like Christmas wrapping paper. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to find that or not. Um, we actually typically recycle our wrapping paper and bags um, from previous years, but I'm mailing these things home, so I might need to get some cheap alternatives. Um, so yeah, let's go see if we can find anything at Daiso. Wait, I'm so happy. As soon as I walked in, they have a lot of little decorations. Oh, this is actually so perfect. Cause I need little ornaments for my Christmas tree and my office. I still need to decorate it. Oh, this is so cute. Where do you put this? It's an ornament. Okay, that's kind of big, but those are really pretty. If I was going to have a party, this is what I would use. I love this like vintage Disney cup. These are cool. <laughs> this is honestly kind of creepy, but I'm into it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the eyebrows that, or the, no. You know what it is? It's the black eyes. And I listened to too many paranormal podcasts where they talk about like, dark-eyed children so this is just scary this is like snow i guess i don't know i feel like i need to try it it's a soft and expansive snow this is completely unrelated to christmas this says unchi which is poop these are pencil mascot poops you just put them on top of your pencil only in Japan. I ended up being slightly disappointed in the selection, so I got the Christmas snow, this really cute, cute um, Christmas tree, and then I needed like a car phone mount, and then I got this mobile device stand. And all of it was like less than six US dollars. I am a grown adult and I just learned how to shred chicken quickly. I was just using forks. You can either use this or if you have a hand mixer, it's better. So here's the chicken and you're just gonna... <laughs> Dude, seriously? 
Yeah. You just shot chicken up past my head. This is this is this is this is. This is a great. This is this your, is this is your grown adult method. Yes, this is my tutorial. It, it's a little bit messy, but it gets the job done. Dude, take it easy, man. Okay, we'll cut, cut the mic. Oh yeah, I probably should have told you I'm making dinner. It's not Christmas dinner at all. Um, but it's basically just Hawaiian barbecue sliders, sandwiches. So I made the chicken and then I found some pineapple, but it's crushed pineapple. You want to try to get like whole pieces of pineapple if you could find it. Not my preferred method. <laughs> Some of y'all ask for cooking videos. I'm not the person, uh, I'm not the person to ask for these, but we're doing it, okay? I'm gonna add, oh, that was, that was too much. What do I do? Okay, that's probably okay. Well, well maybe. Maybe I'll put it back. I'll put it back. Chili flake or chili flakes? Yeah, we like it sweet and spicy. And now barbecue sauce. I don't have measurements. I'm sorry. I just kind of like do it until I like how much sauce is on it. I don't even know if that helps. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Now I'm making coleslaw, and coleslaw sauce is really easy to make. Honey, I just use like a local honey. And then I used rice vinegar, because that's all I had. And then mayonnaise, cracked pepper. And then if you have any, it's really good if you can get fresh jalapenos. But that's like hard to find here. And now I'm just gonna add a bunch of carrots and cabbage that I cut up and then that's your coleslaw. It's super easy. You'll need a piece of toast. You're just gonna put the coleslaw that you made on top. I think we do coleslaw first, right? I don't know. I do chicken first. You do chicken? I think I, I like more coleslaw. Well, I do too, but I like chicken first. And then we're gonna top it with some chicken. <laughs> Seriously? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what? I'm trying to finish this before my battery dies. And yeah. then you just put the <laughs> chicken on top. It's delicious. Okay. I am about to wrap presents and package these boxes to try to send home to family and friends. I have Christmas music playing. I have my dog, um, but I'm gonna have to change the music because I'll get copyrighted for it. So let's do it. it smells like Christmas and the holidays. I'm gonna put this over here. So this is my box that has all of our wrapping paper in it. Um, and bags, we reuse bags and paper every year um, to recycle them. But just, yeah, so here's this. I have like my Christmas cards so I can write in them. And then just a little pro tip, in my Christmas box, I keep tape and scissors and a marker. That way every year, it's all together. Like I don't have to go searching around my house for the things I need to wrap all of the gifts. Um, and I've got paper, bows. Let's go ahead and start wrapping everything. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
This is what I'm gifting my little brother. Um, it's a Zen Pop box, but to save room, I'm actually going to just continue filling it with more instant ramens. That's what he asked for, so that's what he is getting. These are the boxes I'm working with right now. This has their gifts, and then this is just a bunch of snacks that they can share, including Oscar, we love him, and then um, the special Coke bottles. I also got them these Neko cookies, the little cat cookies that hang off of your cups. And then everybody's getting um, the seasonal Kit Kats. This one basically has the same exact stuff in it. And then I'm just really hoping my pottery holds. So I've put it in the middle of everything with a lot of protection and I'll do bubble wrap and then a lot of soft snacks on top. Okay, a mite, sweet. Uh-huh. Ama kata des. Okay. Ama kunai des. Oh, perfect. Ama kunakata des. Great, perfect des. Hi, that's a game. Do you want to use furui or kitanai? Oh, either way is okay. You can pick. I'm going to do dirty. Kitanai. Okay. <laughs> Keep tonight. Okay. Keep tonight. Keep. Keep. Can't talk. Keep tonight. Keep okay. tonight. Kata des. Mm. Keep tonight. Kunai des. Mm. Keep tonight. Kunai kata des. So 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 so. The keep tonight is easy drop. Ne. Keep tonight. Kunai kata des. Just difficult. 難しいね。Okay. So, so, so. I thought so you put e. <laughs> I thought that would actually be an easier one, but I think I <laughs> screwed myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you made it. You made it. Hi, 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 hi. Where's my boot? I'm your boot. Where's it? Ooh. <laughs> I'm right here. Or am I just changing the ooh? Hanashimas. Hi. It's to talk. Mm-hmm. Hanashite. So, 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 I, I don't know what I meant by that either. I just forgot what that word was. I'm always looking forward to your excuses because they are funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but I will say the only reason I remember this is because like when I go to bread class or someone's Japanese home, they're always oh. like, suwate, suwate. People say to you the thousand times. Suwate, sit down. Suwate, suwate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, suwate, suwate. Uh, Watashi wa itsumo tachimasu. Wait, excuse me, it's interesting. Please, okay, Tomi. What is what is karate? Karate. Karate? Karate is this. Yeah. Do it. Karate. Like, what? Is that is that a te form? 
No, no, no. Karate is <laughs> for fun now. Oh. So then, Table, yeah. Karate. I thought karate. I do the gonna, chop. Yeah, maybe it meant like do the chop. But no? <laughs> no, 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 no. Karate is proper now. Okay. <laughs> Martial arts. <laughs> so, 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 so. And that is noun, but this is verb. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Ordering Domino's pizza. Bye bye. Oh, thank you guys. Today we're in Hiroshima and we're here to see the illumination lights. We just got back from the post office and last time I made a video like this you guys were asking how much it cost to ship everything and I forgot to tell you. So it was about 140 US dollars to ship everything. Uh, we did priority mail and I got insurance on everything because a lot of the stuff in there are like one of a kind priceless items like the pottery that we got so yeah it's quite expensive to ship things from Japan um, which is why I tried to only do it like on the holidays or somebody's birthday but anyway I love the holidays I love sharing things with you guys I'm having a lot of fun filming this and this is episode one if you guys have any ideas for future videos leave them below the things I know I want to do next is I want to do obviously a 7-Eleven holiday haul where I get all the new holiday things from 7-Eleven. I do those every season. And then I'm going to do one where I make some of my mom's recipes that I grew up with. So stay tuned for those. Um, they're kind of like good little party ideas or things that you can make at home to be cozy. So anyway, just want to wish you guys a happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Shamata.